Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a slightly different video today. If you're new here and you've clicked on this video because you've seen kittens, um, I get it. I would too, most likely. But my name is Megan and I normally play games on my channel but I thought I'd do a slightly different video today. Those of you that follow me on Instagram will have seen that I recently brought home a new kitten. I was debating it for quite a while and we just decided to go for it. So yeah, that happened and I thought I'd vlog it. So we travelled a bit further for this kitten compared to the other two girls I got. The lady we got the girls from was literally around the corner from us. Whereas this little lad was a bit about an hour drive away. So yeah, I thought it'd be fun to vlog it. Also my videos haven't been very frequent at the minute. Which I do apologise for. And I keep apologising for in my text posts on YouTube. So I thought I'd do two parts of this video really. I thought I'd do like a kitten vlog and then just like a general life chat video and just yeah something a bit different oh and also talk about the recent tomb raider announcement because i haven't spoke about that yet so yeah so part one of this video is going to be all about the kitten and then part two is just a chit chat video if anyone wants to stay for that but yeah also i want to start wearing my glasses more on my videos but this is annoying i don't know how you avoid that I've looked on the internet, the interweb, for some info and people said to like point the light away from you, which I have. It's pointing upwards, not at me, but it's, I still get a mini ring. I've got a mini ring going on. I mean, it's not as bad as it could be, I guess. Anyway, now before I get started on the kitten video, I am very aware that this is the internet and people will have various opinions about the way we did things. I get that something that's probably going to be coming my way and it's something I'm going to have to accept as, as I said, it's the internet and everyone has their own views and what's right and what's wrong. That's fine, um, come at me, but you know, the way we decided to introduce our new kitten to our current kittens was just what we thought was best for our cats and how we know them. Now I read a lot of stuff before we went and picked them on how to best introduce kittens you know there was a lot of things saying uh, to isolate them for like two weeks and gradually introduce smells which yeah I think if our cats were a lot older I might have gone down that route and if it was a bit more planned and we had more time off from work etc but we didn't it was kind of a <laughs> just squeaking now they're playing by the way um, but yeah, it was kind of a, sort of a last minute decision getting Xander and we just fell in love with his picture. So we just wanted him and he was ready to be picked up. So within a week, we quickly got <laughs> Willow running out, quickly got everything started and we hadn't got full time off work. We hadn't booked. There he is. Xander! He's distracted at the minute. So yeah, as I was saying, we didn't fully plan as much as the first two kittens and we've got we haven't got the biggest of houses and we both work full time there's no way we could have done the whole two week isolation thing or whatever so the way we decided to introduce them was kind of just head on really we just well as you'll see in the videos we did just place him down in his carrier we give him a couple of minutes to give him a sniff and just be aware of what's about to happen and then obviously we opened up the carrier and let him out and yes this did come with a bit of hissing a bit of sass from the cats and it did for a couple of days but everything has now worked out Buffy and Xander are like best friends now so I'll let the videos roll out so we can watch it from there but I just wanted to get that out now because I know some people are going to be like you introduced him wrong you shouldn't have done it that way that's really unhealthy for the kitten maybe I'm sorry if it is but He's fine now. They're all fine. They get along great. And yeah. Also, here he is. I thought I would show him up on the camera. Mr. Xander boy. It's a bit quiet, isn't he? Look, anything to say? He's normally very squeaky. He's got a squeaky meow on you. See? Just wants to be off. Buffy's had enough. She's going. She's just had enough. But yeah, slightly different colour pattern to our other two. He's a seal by colour, I believe, whereas my other two are blue mitted and blue point ragdolls. So he's going to be slightly different colour. 
which I love. I love the little pattern on his face. Also, I just want to point out, I recorded a lot of the footage on my iPhone, so it's not the best quality. I apologise for that, because <laughs> what are you doing? Um, so yeah, I apologise for the quality of the footage, but hopefully it's all watchable still, and yeah. Roll the vlog! <laughs> Hello everybody, slightly different video today as you can see. Don't laugh at me. You're laughing at me. Boyfriend's laughing at me. I feel uncomfortable doing this. As you can see, I am not at my usual oh Buffy wants to know what's going on. Um You look absolutely shocked, Buffy. <laughs> as you can see, I am not at uh, my usual desk setup. Um, that's because I thought I would bring you along with me to go get another kitten. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I did mention it earlier on this week or whenever this video is going up. I'll try and get it up. But then I was debating it and we decided no. And then because I'm so indecisive, we've decided yes. And it's been a bit of a of complicated situation. But anyways, we're going for the kitten tonight. So it's going to be another ragdoll, but it's a boy and... Yeah, I'm really excited to meet him. Obviously, I won't be filming in the lady's house, so I'll probably film, I don't know, what's the standard vlog captures, the drive, uh, and obviously getting him in his carrier and introducing him to our cats, which I am a bit nervous about. And that's one of, that was the main reason what put me off getting another one. But I think they'll be fine. They're still quite young. They're only seven months old. Buffy's very playful, so I'm pretty sure she'll play with him, so I don't know. We don't know until we try, do we? So yeah, I thought I would take you along with me. I apologise as well if the audio is really rubbish on this. Obviously, I'm just filming off my phone. I don't have a fancy camera. I'm poor. Okay. Gonna be nice to your little brother. No, you're not interested. Where's the other one? No, she's eating, of course. We'll wear the pillow, we call it, because she is a little chumps. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Can you you're licking those chumps. Yep, you're going to be nice to your little brother when we get back. Well, only time will tell. This is it. We've arrived here. The introduction is <laughs> going to happen very soon. It's the thing I'm most nervous about. Mm. She knows. She does. Sorry, this is really bad quality filming. I apologise, everybody. It's, it's also a bit dark. Right, here we go. <gasps> They've seen him. I'm checking them out, girls. Oh, so fast to do that thing. We're gonna 
give them five, ten minutes to sniff. Ooh. I hope it's all right. Oh, God, no. <laughs> it's all right. Good girls. That's a little brother. Be nice to him. Please. He's stinky. The smelly boy. The smelly boy, Willow. It's all right, darling. It's all right. I feel like it feel quite ganged up there if it's not. I suppose. Mm -hmm. This is little Xander. Good girls. Here he is, girls. Be nice to him, please. From Willow. It was a little bit of hissing from Willow, which was quite shocking, really. Maybe she thinks she's going to steal his food. No, wait. Maybe she thinks he's going to steal all her food. Obviously, I'm going to film as much as I can whilst also keeping an eye on them. Obviously, they're... Willow's real unsure, bless her. <laughs> She's like, oh, he sniffed me. So I want a good look around. Oh, look at his little teal stuck. He's bloody confident. I don't think our two cats came into the living room for ages. And off he goes. Oh, he's off. Buffy's gone to investigate, she's having that. So, yes, I think it's going all right so far. Obviously, I'm not filming every single bit because I do need to keep an eye on them. Um, there's been a few little hisses, but nothing too major, I don't think. Needs to be expected. Mm -hmm. Got a stranger in the house. Why? Oh, oh, there what we go. Doing that? It's food, that, yeah, that's what I think. Buffy was checking out Xander's food just then. And, well, it's his food. You've got slightly grown up kitten food. That's English. watching like a hawk it's really interesting she's clearly like feels like her dominance is maybe i don't know threatened <laughs> you're still the girl of the house buffy <laughs> poor xander oh oh is that when he's water good man me xander sorry sweet Oh, this is cute. My first boy. Mm. <laughs> He's really bold. <laughs> he don't care. He's like, oh, I want to play with it. Yeah, it's my toy. settled a little bit um Buffy has been watching Xander like a hawk um a few hisses Willow doesn't seem to care um she just keeps following me around which is really cute <laughs> um but that's good we did expect it from Buffy because I think she runs the house really um yeah but Xander is kind of sleeping now which is good I think hopefully it means he feels safe here and hopefully tomorrow will be better we hope, hopefully. hopefully. But yeah, we'll keep you updated tomorrow. 
Oh, I'm going to show you my new mug, actually. It's amazing. It says cat person, which I am now officially am, I guess. And I'm going to have a cup of tea out of it tonight, because that looks like it would make the best cup of tea. I'm very excited. So it is morning, day two, excuse me, I have no makeup on. Um, still a lot of hissing going on, unfortunately. Um, I think even Buffy has set Willow off now, which is a shame. There he is, little man. Buffy, come on now. He's not doing any harm. Pause that and then move you come. He's done, he's behind me. <laughs> I guess we're just going to have to take it day by day. Um, there's been no swiping yet, obviously, or attacking. Just a lot of hissing and growls, <laughs> basically. Um, but he seems okay. Dirty, you all right? Mm -hmm. Chicken Give Buffy some love as well. No, Buffy, come on, it's fine. Obviously, this is all a big learning situation for me. Oh, well, and the cats. Um, yeah, I knew we'd have obviously a bit of discomfort but i just didn't think i didn't think it would be this bad i guess um especially with there being two of them i thought they might be quite muffering towards him but i guess not i'm hoping that will come just gonna try and keep everything a positive environment i guess i think that's the best thing to do and yeah obviously <laughs> don't leave them alone with them um so we separated them at night time so we left them um, little xander in the conservatory, which is where they originally, um, where we originally had Buffy and Willow when they were little, so they've still got like, the run of the house, but yeah, so I'm hoping that's enough for them, just for now, and oh, Willow's making her, her way through. It's all right, Willow. Come on now, we don't need to do that. Let's give you a strap as well. You're setting, setting Willow off. That's... I oh, she's clear enough now. She I ain't doing with that. Nope. Not to the... Thank you. I'm just trying to put toys around them really so that it just creates a positive environment, I guess. I mean, we've got a little, a little bit closer. Mm. Much to Buffy's disapproval, as seen. So I've decided. What's a salad cream? Out? <laughs> it's not mine. Um, we decided to let the girls eat the breakfast in peace. I think they couldn't eat because it was constantly on edge. Watching Xander now. They do normally eat with the bowls together, but there's been a bit of irritation with that this morning. So this is how it is. <laughs> but at least they're eating. They wasn't eating with Xander in the room, which fair enough. Obviously, I guess they think they might, you might nick it when. Yeah. So this is what we're doing. <laughs>
decided to show him around a bit this morning and um, I brought him upstairs showing him the hamsters of course um yeah seemed a little bit interesting then but obviously the other two cats are on high alert so I do think he's a bit on edge too but I think they are getting a little bit better a little bit but yeah We've got a little progress here, and we've got Xander on top. Will has decided to sit in the pod. So, yes, this is positive. Things are improving. We have eaten their own food, minded their own business. That this beloved elder was Yay. even on his death. again <laughs> so it's now the evening um i haven't really filmed much since this morning really um i don't really do anything really obviously i've just been watching the cats and at a spec savers appointment and then i've literally sat and watched gilmore girls so really got into that recently and it was so hot today so i was going to do some video editing but it was just pff, no my computer heats the room as it is. There's absolutely no way I was sitting in editing. Plus, I needed to watch the cats. Um, but yeah, anyways, an update on the cats. They are doing a little bit better. It's very up and down. Sorry, the lighting breaks. It's night time. I think they are getting there a little bit. Buffy is still hissing. But I feel like she, I feel like she also wants to play. I, I don't know. Plus, Sander's giving it back a little bit. So... I think it's going all right. I mean, she's still growling in that, but yeah. She left you. <laughs> all right, Buffy. It's you. <laughs> Don't freak out. It's not enough for cat, I promise. It was really cool up here. Oh, now Willow's growling. See, I don't think Willow was that fuss, but I think Buffy set her off. But she's never gone for him. She just kind of runs away, which is quite cute, bless her. Um, but yeah, I don't know how long to keep this vlog sort of going, uh, progress-wise. I'll maybe film it more tomorrow. I feel like I'd like to film it up to the point where... They were okay and getting on, but I don't know how long that'll be. Um, I think it's just going to take time. So. But he's made himself at home. He's just loving life. Bless you. Oh, you're so cute. Not amused. <gasps> You've got Mr. Snuggles.
you are forever stealing my seat, Buffy. Hey. Oh, she's about to sit down. Xander on the Amscade, checking out Peach. Willow on the windsill, being windowy. <laughs> So that is the vlog, I hope you enjoyed it. Sandra's settled in really well now, she's just part of the family, so yeah, all is well, isn't it? You don't mind him, do you? Sorry, the microphone's kind of blocking her, isn't it? So, oh, let's just adjust you a bit, there we go. So I thought I'd do like a little live chat as well, seeing as my videos haven't been very frequent. I've just been so busy recently, and it's not even anything exciting either which makes it really depressing. So all of August I pretty much was doing overtime at work like every day, you know, times are hard these days, um, you know, I know it's not just me, it's for many people, um, I just needed a little bit of extra money so I've, yeah, been doing that. I've cut it down this month, September, so, but I've still been so busy, I think I'm just so tired. Where do you want to go? You want to go back down now? What do you want? You want to go on the desk? Also, it's just been a busy few months in terms of family events, um, just seeing people really getting together. So a lot of weekends I've been really busy, which I don't really enjoy. I kind of like doing nothing on the weekends, <laughs> most of the time. So I think when it's come to, because of all the overtime and being busy at weekends, when it's finally come to a weekend where I don't have any plans, I've been so tired. I've been quite tired today really, but... I've kind of forced myself to get up, put some makeup on, and get on my computer. Oh god, Buffy's here now. Don't be up to mischief. Because I do miss doing this. It's been a while. I mean, I edited that Tomb Raider video. Do you mind? I edited that Tomb Raider video and then I found out I had had it recorded for a month and I hadn't even edited it. Like, what's that all about? I don't know. I don't want to say I've been struggling with my mental health, I don't think it's that, I think it is, I've just been so tired, if I'm honest, and that's just led to probably a bit of laziness, and yeah, do you mind, what's your problem, I feel like I should have really planned all this instead of just sat chatting away, but at least I can edit stuff out, I guess that's the uh, good of that and obviously we brought home a new kitten so I had all of that to deal with another thing that is I have kind of been working on myself a lot this year now I will just put a little trigger warning in here because I'm just going to talk a little bit oh god what, what have you done to me oh sorry just had to kick Buffy out I love her to bits but she's so bloody naughty I'm gonna go check on her no, he's going to lay down. I don't know. Yeah, she's definitely the naughtiest of the cats. She just... <sighs> anyway, as I was saying, I'm just going to put a little trigger on in now um, on the screen to skip this part. I'm just going to quickly talk a little bit about um, diet and weight loss. And I know that's not something everyone wants to listen to and it might affect some people. So please skip to the time shown on the screen here um when i've finished i'm not going to babble on too much but yeah please skip so one thing i have been i've just constantly got fluff in my mouth from the cat sorry um one thing i have been focusing on a lot this year is myself is just losing a bit of weight so i've always been sort of slim um because i used to do a lot of athletics actually i was a sprinter um, and in adult life my weight has just gone up and down and last year in particular it went quite a bit back up which i just wasn't happy with in myself there was nothing wrong with what i weighed or how i looked it was just it was myself i just didn't like how i looked anymore i wasn't willow I'm being a bit deep here. Um, I just wasn't confident in myself anymore. I just lost. I hated the way, like, I still uploaded videos, but I hated the way I looked in them. And I never did, like, I know it's a bit, probably a weird thing to think, to say it. But, like, I didn't even take selfies or anything anymore. Because I just, I didn't like how I looked. I stopped going out as much as well. Like, I just 
it just wasn't it wasn't a good way of being really so this year i've really set it myself to lose the weight well as as much as i like feel comfortable doing and i've been <laughs> don't sit on the keyboard so i've been on a bit of a diet this year which has worked you know i'm i do feel like i'm in a good place now i'm quite happy with how i look a lot more than i did a few months ago and yes yeah, so i think a bit of my confidence has come back i'm like wearing old clothes that i really loved but i just didn't fit into um i'm wearing things that i wouldn't have worn this time last year basically yeah so the reason why i'm talking about this is that that's just like another thing that's taken quite a bit out of me this year i've obviously focused a lot of time on that and you know it's some days it's made me feel really tired and whatnot but i think i'm towards the end of the journey now um <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to discuss that yeah i really should have planned what i was wanting to say in this but i haven't have i um so yeah the over time of work, dieting, new kitten. I guess I'll just head a bit more towards the future just because my videos are still going to be a bit hit and miss at the moment. Um, so in at the beginning of October, I am going to a wedding in London. So that's a few days away, which is nice, but you know, it will mean I can't get much recorded. And then it's my birthday and I do have a week off in October, which I am hoping I can get quite a bit done then, hopefully. But on saying that the job that i'm currently in if i want to move up to the next pay band and progress within my role i need to sit an exam and it's very a lot of it is very biology based which has been like my worst subject ever even in school i hated it i hate like anatomy and stuff like it's just not for me i just it doesn't stick in my head you know so potentially if i really am going to go for that i will have to start revising at the weekends and whatnot doing past papers so if i do decide to do that obviously unfortunately again my videos might have to take a bit of a back seat but you know times are hard and i could do with <laughs> the extra money and moving up and obviously opening a few doors for myself so yeah just to bear that in mind i wanted to mention that and lastly i guess we'll talk about the recent tomb raider announcement which is super exciting i think it's been such a long time coming it's been funny really as well because i've recently got the edge to replay the very first game i mean i know i did tomb raider anniversary not too long ago which is kind of like a remake of the first game but it's not quite the same is it so I do think these, these remasters are going to be really good. Oh, why are you nibbling me? So yeah, I'm not quite sure how I want to go about doing them on my channel. Part of me would like to... I was thinking about potentially getting into live streaming and streaming those. But then I feel like it would also be really fun to record. Especially the first game, maybe. And then perhaps stream the other two. But uh, I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Obviously, I've got, we've got a few months yet to decide also don't know what to do with regards to the other Tomb Raider games because obviously I've still got Underworld to finish which probably at this rate might be to the end of the year and then I'm wondering whether to wait for the remasters before doing the reboots but I'm not sure you'll have to let me know your views on that because obviously if I, if I start doing the reboot trilogy I, I'll either have to do the remasters in between or after I don't really want to wait till after <laughs> I don't like, I won't get the new tr trilogy finished by the time the new remasters come out. So I wonder if I should take a little bit of a Tomb Raider break and wait for the remasters to come out and go from there. But, I don't know. We'll see. We've got time to decide on that. <laughs> um, but yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to give you all a little update video. I think I've covered everything. I don't know. It was nice to sit down and chat, I guess. I hope you are all doing okay. I keep forgetting to take this off. It's not the most. It looks weird, doesn't it? Sorry. But the cat scratches, so. Yeah. But we are heading into the colder months now, which I kind of like, to be fair. I mean, I like summer, but I also like being cozy and getting jumpers on and stuff. And yeah, it's nice. As always, thank you so much for your patience with me. I know my video uploading hasn't been great recently. As I've explained and potentially going forward might still be a bit disrupted, but I really do appreciate 
everyone's support. And I really want to get back to the games. I've got <laughs> so much left to do of Alice Madness Returns and as well as obviously Tomb Raider Underworld. I'm hoping to maybe get back to doing some today. Hopefully. I really need to. I think the other issue is because I haven't played them in over a month because I've been that busy. I'll have forgotten the bloody controls. Do you know? It's an hard life, isn't it? I know. I know. Some things I complain about. I don't know. Um, but yeah. New videos will be coming soon. But I just, yeah, just bear with me. And I really do appreciate you all bearing with me. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed these and the cuteness. And me raveling on about my life. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like and please subscribe if you want to see future videos, hopefully future gaming videos when I get around to it. That day will be coming, I promise. But yeah, um, bye, I guess. Sorry. I'm just... <laughs> What's wrong with me? I don't know. I'm so weird.